What's up YouTube? Jake, the Ticket Leprechaun, back with what's going to be a pretty long video today. So we're going to jump right into things. I'm going to share a Bible verse. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about in this video. And then I have a question for everybody that watches this at the very end. Okay, so let's get rolling. The Bible verse comes from Esther 414, and it says, Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. And that's something that anybody could take into account of with what's going on in the world. You know, why me? Why wasn't I born into a different time period when things were simpler? You know, a lot of people say that right now. You know, life used to be so much easier. You know, I wish I would have been born in the 1950s and been a, a baseball sports writer. That would have been way better, right? <laughs> but perhaps I was born in this time frame for a reason. God had a plan for me. Uh, he had a purpose for me. And uh, that's why I'm here. Okay? That's even why I'm on YouTube. What I want to talk about today related to collecting, also, hint, boxes. Why would I have boxes stacked up? I'll get to that in a future video. But I want to talk about where my collecting goals are at so far for 2020. So through June, through six months, uh, you would expect me to be about 50% of the way with all my goals. Uh, I had a lot of them. Uh, some of them kind of feed into each other. Uh, 20 all in total for 2020. But I'm going to go through those guy, those uh, goals and tell you guys where I'm at on each of them and uh, a couple shout outs and, and fun facts along the way. Goal number one was pay off the Drew. If you haven't checked out my Drew videos, definitely check those out. Picked up that collection uh, from a friend of mine who lives in Georgia. Great guy, gave me a great deal. Has tons of vintage cards in it. Uh, ranging from 1979 all the way back to 1949. Lots of stuff from the 50s and 60s. That purchase alone <laughs> helped me reach a lot of these goals that I have already reached that I'm going to talk to. But number one, check. Paid off the Drew. It's paid off. Now I can buy other stuff. Number two, meet Brooks Robinson. Uh, obviously, that is very unlikely to happen this year. Thank you, coronavirus. Uh, but I'll explain why that's on my list. Uh, my pa, my dad's dad, who passed away when I was seven, had two favorite baseball players, Harmon Killebrew and Brooks Robinson. And I really, 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 really want to meet Brooks, tell him that, get it on video, and get my picture with him. I just think that would be really cool and uh, an interesting way to connect to my, my pa in a way. Number three, meet one new Hall of Famer, which could have been filled by Brooks Robinson or anyone else. So again, hashtag thank you, coronavirus. Number four, goal number four, add 1,000 vintage cards to my set. Didn't matter what set, didn't matter if it was 1933 Gaudi or 1979 Tops, anything in between, if it's a vintage card, it counts. I have met this goal. I have already added 1,419 cards uh, to my collection. Now, the Drew was a little over 100 of those in just Hall of Famers in the 50s, 60s, etc. Uh, plus all the 70s cards. I mean, it was almost a complete 76 set. A lot of 77s as well, I believe it was. So that was a big chunk, but the rest of it was mostly from, from OBC, uh, an online group that I'm a part of that has to do with low-grade vintage cards. Goal number five. Add 250 60s cards to my 60s sets for my needs. I have also met this goal. I've already added 260 60s cards to my vintage sets this year. Again, largely due to the Drew and OBC. Number six, add 150s cards uh, to my sets. That was almost entirely the Drew. Uh, probably 20 to 30 of those were from OBC, uh, but the rest were from the Drew. So I've already added 108 50s cards to my sets this year. Rolling on the vintage stuff. Rolling on the vintage goals. Goal number seven. Add five 1940s cards. I have added five, and they all came from the Drew. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. You're getting a lot of FaceTime here early in uh, my goals. Number eight. Add five 1930s cards. Now, I only collect 33 Gaudi, 34 Gaudi, and 38 Gaudi. So it's got to be some of those sets that I hit. I have added zero, okay? Hopefully I can hit that goal. That's the second year in a row that I've made that goal and I haven't hit it. So 
We'll see if I can add some here in the second half of the year. Goal number nine, the first basketball goal. Uh, you guys don't see me talk about basketball a lot on my channel. I need to do more of that. Uh, maybe that's a 2021 thing or a late 2020 thing. But I wanted to get to 100 different UNC basketball autos in my collection. I started the year at 99. And I have 99. <laughs> now, it's a very short list of the guys that have made the pros or had autographs that, while they played at UNC uh, that I don't have. Uh, but it would be fairly easy to pick one up. I just, I just need to do it. You know, I can do one for less than $10. Goal number 10 get to 75 different Hall of Fame rookie cards. I've started this year at 67. I am at 74. Uh, shout out to Ground Truck. I know off the top of my head, sent me a Larry Walker rookie card, even though I didn't realize it like an idiot in the video, uh, but that's where one of them came from. Uh, so just lacking one more Hall of Fame rookie to hit that goal. Goal number 11, as I chase the aforementioned Brown Chuck in the YouTube Hall of Fame autograph registry. He's so far ahead now. Uh, I started the year at 106. My goal is to get to 110 Hall of Fame autographs, different ones. I'm at 107, so I've added a grand total of one, and it wasn't even a pickup. Derek Jeter got voted in, and I had one. So that's where my Hall of Fame autograph came from. Goal number well, this was an easy goal. Make progress on my 1955 top set. I started the year with 156 cards uh, for the set, and I am now at 164 cards for the set. So I'm at 79.6 completion, adding eight cards uh, so far to that set. Uh, just 42 to go, 42, and I could complete my 55 tops. And I have the Clemente rookie, the Kofax rookie, and the Killebrew rookie. So. It would be really cool to finish that off. Just some minor Hall of Famers and uh, high numbers are really all I have, and a couple of commons. Goal number 13. Add four NBA autographs from my list. I have a list of 50 guys that's a mix, basically, of Hall of Fame players and then guys I consider all-time greats and or fan favorites of mine. Example, Shaquille O'Neal, Hall of Famer. Uh, all-time great, I put the word Fan favorite, Spud Webb or Muggsy Bogues. You know, those are some of the guys that are on my list. Wanted to add four NBA autographs from that list this year. I've added zero. Same thing. There are some of those guys on there that I could definitely have for less than 20 bucks, and I just haven't done it. Goal number 14. Four. This is 14. Wow, keeping that in the video. Whoops. 14. Add four Hall of Fame autograph baseballs. I've added one so far this year. Gotta get some more. Goal number 15, visit two major league parks. Uh, we actually had a trip planned uh, for our two year anniversary to Los Angeles. I had tickets for the Angels and the Dodgers. Hashtag thank you coronavirus. That did not happen and won't happen this year. Let's hope for 2021. I gotta see all 30 sometime. Goal number 16, I got that one right. Go to a card show. I actually haven't been to a card show in over a year, which is crazy, because I used to be at card shows all the time. I used to set up at card shows, but working in baseball uh, makes that difficult. And now that the minor league season has been canceled, it will be easier, but again, coronavirus. So let's see if uh, there are any card shows that pop up in my area you know, the rest of the year, I will definitely hit one uh, if I am able to go. Goal number 17. Stay active in OBC and on YouTube. I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Uh, I've put out more YouTube videos than I ever have, uh, thanks to the pandemic. Uh, spare time on my hands and uh, wanted to stay in communication with you guys. I had some cool ideas that I may not have had time for otherwise. So I hope you all have enjoyed them. Goal number 18. Get to 25 different Hall of Fame bobbleheads. I started the year at 20, I'm now at 23. So not quite there yet, but I made progress. But it's thanks to uh, two guys, especially. Ground Chuck, 
who sent me a, a Vlad Guerrero bobblehead. Love it. And Sticks and Seams 25, uh, who also in a trade sent me a Bob Feller uh, bobblehead that I love. So that's really cool. The other one was Jeter that I already had a bobblehead of, and he got inducted. Or is getting inducted. He's been voted in. Goal number 19. This is the, uh, the overall collection's goal. If you guys have watched my spreadsheet videos before or talked, heard me talk about how big my collection is, uh, I count each vintage card, each autograph baseball, each bobblehead, rookie card, everything is, is one item a piece, okay? So I have 20,693 items on my want list. Yes, that sounds baffling uh, and overwhelming, but it's my life goal. I see my collection as a lifetime goal. I currently have... Oh, one more thing. I started the year at 42.42%. Okay, I wanted to get to 50% after this year, which I thought was reasonable since I still need a lot of 70s cards, and it's easy for OBC to send those to me because everybody has extras because they're all older than me and have been collecting a long time. Uh, so I thought that was reasonable. I've gotten to 10,229 items, which puts me at 49.43%. Okay. For you math whizzes at home, you already know the answer. But for you guys that are not as quick at math, I need to get to 10,347 items to get to 50%. That's 118 more items. And I think that is doable for the rest of the year, especially since I haven't completed a single 70 set yet. And I know I'll get more stuff from OBC because there's generous as they come. So good progress on that. Lastly, goal number 20. I wanted to get to 350 subscriptions here on YouTube this year. I'd never set a goal like that before, but wanted to. Wanted to see, you know, how much I could really grow my channel and, and start tracking that since I plan on doing YouTube every year from now on. Uh, I started the year at 286 subs. I wanted to get to 350 subs. As of the making of this video, if I don't lose any subscriptions because of this video being really long, I'm at 367 subs. That round of applause is for you guys. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos, who takes the time to do so, uh, and especially the guys who comment. I really appreciate that. I try and comment on a lot of videos myself, and I hope you guys appreciate that interaction too. That's the most fun thing about YouTube. It's uh, really getting to know you guys, not just hearing you talk on video and feeling like I know you, uh, but also commenting, talking to each other, and then ultimately, some of you, I've gotten to email back and forth with, you know, text, uh, even talk to on the phone, I FaceTime a couple of you guys, uh, and it's, it's been really cool getting to know a lot of other collectors through YouTube that I wouldn't have otherwise all over the country. So that wraps up my goals and my progress so far. So if you weren't counting, that means I have completed seven of them so far of the 20 and I've made good progress on several others, so I'm optimistic that I can get a lot of them that are not uh, with requirements of me going somewhere due to the pandemic. So hopefully I'll complete some more goals. I'll do that video at the end of the year. The last thing, if you watch my Joey Brings It uh, recent video that he, you know, I purchased a Charlie Geringer autograph from him, you've already seen the clip that was at the beginning of that, of me hitting in, in the park home run, and uh, I, sh I shared that. I'm thinking about doing a consistent intro. So what do you guys think about me doing either that clip or a piece of that clip um, with some music and like a, a title over it as my intro? Because I know a, a few other channels do that and, and I like that. So what do you guys think of the idea? Please comment that below. All right. Until next time, guys. God bless. <laughs> Come on, Jake.